Alright guys, uh, welcome back to the channel. So I'm Alex from Malaysia. So finally I have the Brave 7 LE with me. So is this worth the wait? So let's find out in my initial preview of the Brave 7 LE. Alright guys, the, uh, this is the Akaso Brave 7 LE. So now I'm recording in 4K 30 frame with image stabilization on. So this is the uh, scenario in my shop. Like uh, adequate but not super bright. Alright guys, so let's have a quick look of the Brave 7 LE. So we have the Brave 7 LE in the waterproof housing. Alright, let's check out in the package one. So the usual stuff. Yes, the same usual stuff. Number three. So we have the new K1350. So this is a different type of battery compared to the uh, Brave and also the V50. So this one for photo and video. So it feels very solid and heavy in my hand. So there's a um, mode shutter, on off, quarter inch mount. So it's all uh, rubberized for waterproofing until one meter. And then we have the USB and HDMI output. So for the for you to activate the front LCD, you have to press the M button for two seconds. Ta -da. So for you to actually uh, access to those time slap mode, so you have to press this one for two seconds. So you have the video mode. Photo mode, so you have the long exposure, so fast motion, slow motion, time lapse. So this is a 2.7K with image stabilization, 60 frames per second. So let's do some running. NATP 60 frame with image stabilization on.
right so this is uh, the skin tone that you expect with uh, the help from the street light also K 60 frame per second. It's quite strange, okay, because only in 2.7 K 60 frame you can have the auto low light being turned on. And of course, while you are in this uh, auto low light condition, you can't actually turn on the image stabilization. So now I'm recording with uh, 2.7 K 60 frame without image stabilization but with auto low light on so let's uh, turn off the auto low light and let's see how it looks like all right now it's uh, still 2.7k 60 frame but with image stabilization so once you turn on the image stabilization you cannot have the auto low light being turned on as well so you have to choose either you want the auto low light or without the auto low light so you have to make sure uh, you want EIS or auto low light you have to choose either one of them so this is a 4K 30 frame without image stabilization and with distortion control So guys, uh, what's my conclusion about the Brave 7 LE? So this is a very decent little camera from Akaso brand. So in terms of features, image quality, I will say is on par with the rest of the Akaso family. So the addition of the selfie screen and also the IPX rating of 1 meter are a main selling point for this Brave 7 LE. So if the IPX rating of 1 meter is a very good point for you, then you should just go ahead and buy this Race 7 LE because there's no other camera in the market with budget friendly money, you can actually get the IPX rating for 1 meter. So if you're looking for the Osmo Action, it costs about 1000 ringgit. If you're going for the Hero 8, 9 series it goes up about 1004 to 2000 ringgit so for the front lcd yes uh, there's a limitation in which you have to switch or choose between either side not like the hero 9 where you can have both sides operating at the same time but i don't think i need any more than that because uh, one screen at a time is fair enough and for 500 plus ringgit, well, I would say that Brace 7 LE is indeed a very good upgrade for you if you're coming from the lower end of uh, like the Brave 4 or maybe the other brand of budget action camera. What I do hope we have in the Brave 7 LE is that it have the external microphone input too bad that it doesn't have it in here but i'm glad to report that the internal microphone of the brace 7 le are indeed a very good quality one so that's all from me this time so hopefully i will see you in the next video so for those who like to uh, buy this camera from us you can actually log in to the uh, shopee or the lazada website or you can actually uh, contact us via the uh, WhatsApp link and please remember to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one. See ya!